Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. Uh, we are shooting episode one seventy seven. Today's topic is Bhav Bhagwan Che. Price is God, and we will show how how we have been using this as the basic underlying principle at Weekend Investing ever since, and how it has helped us in keeping up with the winners and losing losers uh, quickly, and thus creating that magic of outperformance. uh versus the benchmark so in terms let's first take a look at the markets today uh, the market was very very uh, volatile directionless and uh, sort of indecisive um uh, during the day psu banks continued their upswing metal stocks continued their upswing pharma recovered a bit but energy and public sector enterprises took a knock along with reality and it continued down pretty much a mixed bag of few sectors doing well whereas most others were flat or down the major uh, mix uh, of trend was noticed here in mid and small cap segment where this segment was down 1 to 1.5% versus large large caps which were pretty much flat or slightly positive and the same sort of dynamics was reflected in the weekend investing small cases where the uh, mid and small cap in, uh, strategies mi 25 mi 50 mi 35 mi 20 were all down 1.5 to 3% and the other mixed cat- categories were down between half a percent to about 1 and quarter percent so pretty much a down day for almost all strategies uh the large caps were less hit and the small caps and mid caps were larger largely hit so nifty after breaking down from the budget day low is still lower than that and is is unable to currently decide whether this is going to be an intermediate bottom or it needs to go down further uh, the speculation if i were to do that for uh, nifty levels it would be 16800 or 16400 in terms of the next major supports but we never know what is going to happen uh, so we will follow our strategies we will continue our sips and not worry about uh, nifty levels as such but yes uh, we will look out for sharp drops for uh, opportunistic buying into our strategies so coming to the topic of the day bbc is what our uh, uh, for forming founding founding principle has been at weekend investing so those who are new to uh, uh, to our channel or to our uh, uh, website i would like to tell them that all strategies at weekend investing are uh, non discretionary so there is no manual decision making that takes place and all strategies are essentially built upon the concept of bhav bhagwan che so bhav bhagwan che in english is price is god in some rough sense it means that the price is encompassing all that needs to you know get uh, discounted at that particular point in the price and the price discovered by the market is the right price uh we can always argue that the markets are inefficient uh but what we have seen is that the price discovery in the market often leads uh you know the fundamental story behind that price move uh, by a wide margin in most of the th- cases and i'll show you some cases uh recently i tweeted about this uh, result on butterfly gandhi mati appliance it was a poor result uh the stock had been reasonably strong before the market, before the results as well but on the day of the results after the result came out and you know after having sh- showcased poor uh, performance in margins everything the stock went up 8% so a lot of times in the markets the price move is not explained by what we see in terms of disclosures announcements results there is 
an underlying force which is not quantifiable or or it is sort of a intangible aspect and we are basically riding on that so let's let's go deeper into this so so as an example the markets have been sort of stagnant for last you know 3 4 months since september mid uh, we've sort of stayed in a range uh, not only on nifty but also on uh, cnx 500 on cnx 200 in small cap index mid cap index we've sort of uh, been in a range in the last many months but that has not stopped specific stocks from doing what they are doing right so within an index let's say nifty for instance if nifty is flat it does not mean that all 50 stocks are not doing anything you know maybe 15 stocks are doing very well during this period maybe 15 stocks have done really poorly and the rest 20 may have just not done much so while the overall index has done nothing much uh more than 30% of the index could have really outperformed very well and another 40% of the index may have been in line with the index and another 30% has really performed poorly so the idea of uh, selecting a portfolio based on non discretionary methods so primarily price volume etc uh, is that you don't fall into the trap of uh, you know the uh, uh the story that is being or the narrative that is being created around a stock you know a lot of stocks a narrative gets created in media or through the announcement of the company or uh through the results that this is and this is going to happen but it may or may not happen right uh in many cases we have seen that there is price movement on the higher side or on the lower side unexplained at least at that point of time and only a, at a later time do we come to know that okay this was a development that was happening within the company and once they have announced it the you know the move has already happened whether it is upside or downside so a lot of things happen on the inside uh, ahead of public knowledge and a lot of times uh you know the the action that one needs to take based on that acquired knowledge at that point of time it is often too late for that so you know if in some case company has come out with poor results so by the time that poor result is out on the screen for you to analyze it the price action has already you know damaged 30% of the stock so usually when the masses come to know about uh certain developments that is usually the the sort of the end point of that move i mean many times many times i mean i would not say always but many times so the whole idea of cre- of using uh the current set of results as a tool to forecast the future uh is has issues in this you know in the sense that uh you are using last 3 months of data of what has already happened to forecast what's going to happen in the next 3 months 6 months 12 months right so stale data and you are using that stale information to forecast the future whereas in price action based strategy where you are allowing the price to tell you what is happening you know ahead of uh you know uh, any guess work is that you are following the lead of the price as it goes along so you're not guessing you're not forecasting you're not speculating you're actually just following the lead so let's take a few examples and see how this has done and of course these are selected examples there are many other uh, examples where you know these stocks may not have done well but just to highlight the point that while the index is flat you know let's say for a stock like trident 
it is up 137% in the in the same period when the you know the broader indices have done nothing so in most momentum strategies in small and mid cap segment this stock would have got picked and you would have had a 137% gain on it tata lx is another stock that has been just rising and rising and rising in the last 3 4 months despite now recent weakness in it stocks it is still a 54% in this period versus nothing for the index so by staying with the strength in the market regardless of whatever fundamentals uh that may be there of course you can always do a you know base base filter cross check of any red flags in any company but other than that the you, you are letting the stock to tell you uh, what you need to do with it and these are all portfolio companies that i am talking about that we are holding in some portfolio or the other this is again the same example that i was telling you before about butterfly the stock is up 50% in the last 3 uh, 4 months and and we've been holding it since much longer it's been more than doubled uh, since we bought it uh, but just see that you know while conventional wisdom would have uh, asked us to get out of the stock uh, based on poor results but uh, you know the the momentum is still maintained here and 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 we are watch, watching the momentum in the stock kpit tech was another stock where you know we saw almost 120% gains some of our strategies have moved out of it since but some are still holding on the ones which have more uh, room to play uh, give give more room to play to stocks and again you can see that you know uh, versus the larger indices uh, stock has really done well so the idea the basic idea i mean even forget for weekend investing products basic idea is that if you can stay with the strength in the market and not be stuck in the weakness part of the market you will do well okay and that will not come by you know following uh, the conventional methods for that then your stock picks will have to be so good that your stock picks will take you take your portfolio uh, uh, to to that level where you can generate those kind of returns and even in stock picking based on fundamentals etc again the same i mean pareto's rule is universal everywhere 80% stocks will uh, you know do nothing and 20% stocks will give you 80% of the gains so that is everywhere and once you do hit those uh, multi baggers in your journey then the next question will come you know how and when to uh, act on it so that 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 itself will become very very difficult from that perspective again another one minda industries of 45% while you know the underlying was flat so many such examples are there uh, where the strength in those stocks have been picked uh, basis the, uh, uh, the 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 price action the the, the bhav bhagwan che concept so just to sort of summarize uh, uh, between my take on bhav bhagwan che versus value or fundamental investing is that in value or fundamental investing you are forecasting the performance of the asset you are you are betting on the management you are betting on the sector based on your own assumptions that you know the evs will go this way and uh, you know the it mid caps will go that way based on your assumptions whereas in a in a practice where i'm following baba bhagwan che i am allowing the price action to tell me how the market is behaving and if the market is behaving as per my expected lines then i'm following it so i'm in a way i'm uh, following the mass psychology i'm allowing the masses to tell me what i need to do with my portfolio instead of my own reading of what it should be right uh again if i find value uh let's say i found value in some stock it's fantastic stock but i still need that price to move to realize that value if i find value in a stock at 10 rupees and i know it is worth 2000 rupees i still need that stock to go from 10 to 2000 to realize that value and once that stock stock will start to move we will uh, we could we could pick it using our price action thesis so from that perspective uh, finding something and then sitting on it for unlimited amount of period expecting it to go up uh, is a fantastic game but 
it is not the uh, cup of tea for a lot of people and here of course the price movement is not dependent upon the value uh, to profit from prices may move without stocks having as much value as they as the prices are moving and you are basing basing your decisions on the price moves uh, no visi wig what you see is what you get uh, it keeps you guessing here you know when my stock will move what is the value you know like for instance paytm is a current example where everybody is clueless about where the value is where should we value this stock what should be the value there is no clue on anything on on that stock for instance now right now whereas in a price action based strategy you are actually following is the plan is crystal clear you know there is no lag in your thought and your action if the if the, if the price action is telling you buy you are buying if price action is telling you sell you sell there is no double think about it okay then when you know liquidity flows are reversing let's say fundamentals uh, you know so fii start to sell like they are selling for instance right now then fundamental whether they are strong or not the stock will fall when liquidity goes out whether your boat is you know whatever size everything comes down pretty much relatively uh whereas in price action you know the decisions are inherently decided by liquidity flow so momentum will automatically take you out uh you know without a double guessing when you need to get out so to just to sum it up uh, i think i'm taking a lot of time today uh, to sum it up basically the, the this camp the value fundamental camp and and please don't take it the other way i have nothing against the value fundamental camp it this is just my way of thinking i found that to be a difficult way of investing it sort of seems to say that you know i know more than the market i can lead the market the market doesn't know anything i know better than the market and that is the sort of summary of that thought process whereas in uh, our kind of investing style we are saying that you know price is god uh, we are following the market we don't know where should the price be but if the price is going up we are happily following it if the price is going down we'll happily you know come out of it but i am not going to be uh, you know uh, over confident to say that you know the market doesn't know anything and i know more than you so from that perspective uh, that is the uh, sort of thesis behind it so uh, long db but uh, i i i think it's important that new at least new investors who are new, who come to the market who are new to investing or new to momentum investing may distinguish between various styles of course every style is good uh, whatever suits your psychology whatever uh, fits your logic uh, in your life you should follow that and uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video and uh, also to remind you uh, uh, i'm on uh, vivek masrani's uh, show tonight at 8 pm you you'll see the link on twitter somewhere uh, so we'll have some fun uh, talking with uh, with him and i al always appreciate vivek's uh, insights as well so so uh, see you there as well and uh, see you in another video as well thank you bye